Hey YouTube, this is Dirty OM. Um, okay, I'm gonna start off by saying today is going great. Weather kinda sucks. It was raining so hard. Well, it was misting so hard that it started turning white outside and looked like it was snowing. But um it's okay because I got my fridge for my room, whoop whoop, and I literally just carried it all the way to my room by myself with hangers on top of it, because I'm an athlete, I do stuff like that, but um, yeah, I couldn't wait, my dad isn't here right now, so I was like, screw it, I'm just going to do it myself, I got this, Freezers, fridges are not that heavy, and then I kind of broke it. But it's working now, so me and my fridge are going to have great times together. Great mornings. I just want you guys to see it really quickly. There's my new fridge. Yep. Nice and cute. It's actually disgusting. Like, I, I got some Lysol wipes. About to clean that out. But anyways, um, so that's number one. Number two, I'm wearing my Forever 21 shirt that I got. I know it's kind of creepy looking like the shirt. It's really weird. But it's I Love You, and it's one of those really cute shirts that are like, short you know but with short sleeves and like are loose and I like them and I also look really cute with my black jeans and my lace up boot so lace up boots target $39.99 target has free shipping on boots get up on that you guys and I know fake leather is kind of crappy but these shoes had scuffs they have scuffs I think that's from carrying my freaking fridge up but yeah they got scuffs on them and stuff but all you gotta do is get a paper towel warm water wet the paper towel put some soap in there rub it together lather on your shoe and then take another paper towel and just wipe it off or wet it wipe it off whatever and it literally comes off but don't do that too often because I think it's actually like rubbing away the leather material so be careful about that um but I, I like the boots because my sister was like, leather sucks, fake leather sucks, blah, blah, blah. but I got them. I'm happy with them, and I think I look nice. I wish I could take a picture because, you know, I'm from North Carolina up in, the, up in the north trying to get my north style on, you know. I got to figure it out. So anyways, on to the subject. So I think my hair doesn't actually look that bad. It's It's kind of crazy. I had it in, like, a bun earlier and I just took it down so it's just doing what it wants and that's why it's kind of like bent in some places um but I'm actually going to Poughkeepsie in like some hours I have class in about 18 minutes and then I get out of class I'll probably leave to Poughkeepsie at like 3 o'clock so my boyfriend plays football he's back in North Carolina though but he's coming up to Poughkeepsie to play a football game so I'm gonna go see that and also I get to stay at Vassar College with my sister so my sister has dreadlocks I, I inspired her I inspired her and um, she's gonna retwist my hair so this is where the hair part comes in so I did a style recently to kind of neaten up my hair, but I do so much sports. I have dance classes. Like, my hair never stays right for a long time. And actually, on the side, it's not so bad. I don't know. You probably can't really see it. But, like, the roots and stuff, the new growth isn't so bad. But just with, I play rugby, and I literally, I'm a second row. I know everybody's like, what the fuck are you talking about right now? But I literally have to shove my head in between two girls' thighs. And I also tackle and stuff. You know, rugby, we don't wear helmets. So there's grass getting in my hair, perhaps. I don't really know. Too much hair. There might be dirt and nasty shit like that. So um, I'll probably, like, wash my hair and stuff a lot more often. Also, I have dance. And, like, I'm constantly just sweating every single day. Except for, like, Friday through Sunday. I don't sweat as much. But... Um, I, I probably retwisted my hair, not, it has to be more than two weeks, but I can't really remember. It feels like it was shorter, but I think it was longer, I don't know. But it's been two weeks, so it's not like I'm doing it every five days or some crazy stuff like that. So, I want to retwist my hair, and I asked my sister if she would do it for me, and she is. Now, I am liking my hair up, but... I actually haven't done this style in a while, and I think it's really cute, and I think people with my length hair and even shorter, this is a really, really pretty style that you can try, especially when you're in my stage where your hair doesn't actually fit into a ponytail, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I put my hair in a ponytail. 
I probably won't put all in there, but. So, my hair is so short, it just, you know, it just sticks up. And, like, it doesn't fall <laughs> down when I put in a ponytail. So, if you're at that weird state where your ponytails look psycho, this is a great style for you. So, I have my water bottle. Um, it probably has a little bit of olive oil in it. I actually, when I left for college, took olive oil and put it in. I had an old mango and lime twist um some type of they have some type of spray and i had a bottle that it's empty with the mango lime stuff but i literally put olive oil in that bottle and you can actually spray it like olive oil you can spray but that's just too much oil so i just take that and put a little bit in my spray bottle with water mix it up and i'm ready to go so um yeah so get your hair wet for this And you know what it's like to be saturated or whatever. It shouldn't be dripping or anything, but you should really be able to feel the water. And put it all the way through your hair. Now, I like to start it in the back, this style, but you can do however you want. And I don't really part my hair. I kind of just go along. But you're literally, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I take it and I take hair and I twist just like that. So, I have a twist going up, and then I take, and this is where you really want to make sure your hair is wet. I take one mop from each side, okay, and then I tie them down, just like that. And I don't worry about not even like 50 times. And then we'll come to the other side, and I do the same thing. Lock from both sides, tie it down. Okay. I also like this style because you don't really need pins. Sometimes you do, but a lot of time you don't. And then I'm done. No, but I mean you can be if you like it like that. It wasn't that bad. It's just gonna fall apart. So then I just start twisting all around. Then so I take it from this side, and I start twisting it up towards the rest of my hair that's not and I kind of do it symmetrically or yeah so I do this side and then I go to this side and I do it instead of going you know around in a circle I always feel really weird when I'm doing these because I feel like people think I'm talking to myself, but I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Okay, so you see how the hair is going to be sticking up at the ends of your twist. Oh, I left one out. That's okay. That might be cute or whatever. Or you can just stick it in here. See, you just stick it in if you leave something out. So now you can either... Do a really big hump like that. I might actually do that. There's like a number of things that you can do. Um, you can take your hair in your front and you can twist it. And sometimes I like to, I know it's really hard for you guys to see, but I like to start and twist it and then go back. And I'm not flat twisting. I'm literally just taking my hair and like twisting. So I'm rolling it. Like one time I made up a song and it was just like rolling, 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 and I just was rolling, 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 rolling. So like you can do that. I think this is really cute. So yeah. So you can twist it. You can just do two straight back twists. I mean it's not gonna look like that, but here, I'll do it. So you can do a twist on this side and a twist on this side. And I know this is really sloppy, but you see, just like that. Or you can do the twist that I like, where you just twist sideways and back. And then this one is kind of hard. And then, yeah, you have that when you do your ponytail. Or you can leave the front out, which is what I'm about to do. So, what you're going to do, no matter, like, 
which one you do, no matter if you roll it in the front or leave it out in the front like I'm about to do or what. It really doesn't matter. But you're going to take the hair at the end of the twist that you made, and you're going to put it in a ponytail holder, okay? So just gather up all that hair. And to really secure this and not need pins, even though you tied it down with your locks, I don't really tie that tight. Like, put the scrunchie as low on your head as possible. You actually might want to use, like, I have this size scrunchie and then this size. So, I'm going to use the tighter one. Okay. So, once again, the crazy thing right there, okay? So, you see how all that is in a ponytail. All right. And then, I'm going to have this kind of like that. But what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to think, what am I going to do? Okay, so what you do with this, no matter what you do with the front, I mean, you can have a side bang, make light twist a little bit, and then have a side bang that's shorter or whatever. doesn't matter. Okay, that's actually kind of cute, too. That is cute. I like it. But anyways, so... What you're going to do is take this and kind of find your fingers in the middle and then spread your locks down and put the scrunchie over them so that you make a bun. So I don't have a hairnet and I'm pretty sure that if you do, um, you can kind of just put a hairnet over top and it'll work the same. But I don't have one so I use this kind of substitute. And I even did this before I had dreadlocks, so that's where this came from. So I have like a bun on the top of my head. Right? And then I'm going to take this hair and make my bump. And I just put this hair underneath. You see this band going? I just tucked it right underneath there. And there you go. It's probably the best I've ever done it with. So now you have your little bump and your twist to the side. And it might look like loose, but it's really a lot tighter than you would think, especially if you place the scrunchies right. After you do it a couple times, you'll be like, oh, I get this, and you can just um, start writing again. You can just like do ver different variations, <clears throat> but I don't want to make this video hella hella long, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, you can put a little bow there, whatever, but just try that out because there's a hundred different possibilities. You can leave this as a bang, you can roll them back, and you can do a whole bunch of different stuff. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.